Hey coaches and players, today we are going to be talking about our baseline inbound stack series. Our stack series can be performed against zone defenses, especially against the popular 2-3 zone defense. The stack series is also effective against player-to-player -player defense. Important tips to keep in mind while learning and teaching the stack series is we must start in the correct spots. This is because it will help the players know where to begin to help create the correct spacing on the floor to make the play effective. Being in the correct spots also help with the next two crucial tips that are needed to execute any play in the stack series, which are performing the correct order and timing. Correct order is important because it allows for each option of the play to be open at a certain time. It also allows for the play to become fluent. Which leads into our final tip, timing. Timing is crucial because it allows for every option to score to become available and makes the defense have to make decisions on how they are going to defend the play. The first play we are going to go over in our stack series is play three. The player passing the ball inbound should be the team's best passer on the court. When teaching three or any stack series play, make sure to talk with your players about positioning themselves outside the key. This is because if a player is out of bounds inside the key, they will be behind the backboard, which is shown in red. When a player is passing the ball inbounds, we must make sure that the player position is not behind the backboard because the backboard will become an obstacle and it will make it difficult to make passes. Lining up in our stack formation, we are going to have the five line up on the block, the one or the best shooter on the first hash mark, the three or the best finisher on the second hash mark, and the two lined up on the third hash mark. When the inbounder receives the ball, the player will slap the ball to initiate the play. When the ball is slapped, the five will go and screen and seal the opponent under the basket. At the same time, the one will run to the ball side corner and the three will run forward once the five and one split to look for a layup. The two will then run just outside the three point line to be the safety. Now let's talk about how to read the defense. One of the most popular defenses to stop an inbounds play is the 2-3 zone. When the 4 slaps the ball, the 5 is going to screen and seal the middle defender. And the 1 is going to split and run to the ball side corner. The main two options we are going to look for are going to be based on reading this low ball side defender. If the defender goes with player one to the corner, then our first option will be available, looking for the three flashing towards the basket. If the low ball defender stays and guards player three flashing towards the basket, we have our second option, which is to look for player one in the corner, which will be open for a shot. The third option, which might be there occasionally, is when the five screens and seals the defender. If five can seal the defender, the defender will have no chance of stopping the five from scoring due to being on the back side. This will allow for a pass and hopefully an easy layup or a foul. The fourth and final option is to pass to the two, which is our safety. Passing to the safety is the final option because the safety is present to allow a pass to occur if the other options are not available. The safety is also there to help the team inbound the ball to prevent a five second violation. Now, let's watch play three in real time.
recapping, our stack series can be performed against zone defenses, especially against the popular 2-3 zone defense. The stack series is also effective against the player-to-player -player defense. The three important tips to keep in mind are being in the correct spots, executing the correct order, and working on timing. Make sure to check the description for more plays in our stack series. Thank you for watching.